name is Brian Schwartz. I'm in, gonna, if all goes according to plan, I will be graduating from the MBA program. Uh, my project is called Restorative Offsets, which is a carbon offset alternative company trying to implement story change in society. And how I do that is by focusing on three different kind of core criteria. One is realizing sustainability now, one is story change, and one is spiritual renewal. This is something I very much kind of developed through the program. It has threads from different things I've studied before, but uh, if anyone told me I would be doing this before I entered this program, I would have looked very quizzical at them. So, so I took a class on finance and financial forms and different uh, and big questions, like what's the nature of the economy, uh, are really relevant, I think, for moving things in a sustainable direction. And so those big questions kind of cult cultivated this sense of story change in society and actually trying to do that as a business and create an economic model for it that's real and that people, it's an invitation for people to participate. You, you attended Marlboro College undergraduate. I did, well, I did. Okay. I graduated in 2000. Talk a little bit about how you see the principles of Marlboro College either applied or not applied down here. I mean, do you see a, a parallel in, in the approach here? I think that's a really hard one to articulate. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel a lot of alignment kind of being created now between the main campus and the Graduate Center. Uh, I think the spirit of education is similar, uh, but the process is very different. So for instance, at Marlboro, we're driven by tutorials. So the last two years are pretty much you design your own cur curriculum. And here, because it is an MBA and requires a certain amount of technical knowledge, it's a much uh, kind of more prescribed curriculum with some flexibility, but nothing like Marlboro. So, talk a little bit about the importance of carbon offsets. That's a that's a term that we hear a lot in the mm -hmm. news. Um, you know, and you, but you're saying you're alternative to carbon offsets, but yeah. it still is a similar kind of program from what you described. To, me. to some degree, I mean, carbon offsets is basically a way to create an economic mechanism to reduce uh, greenhouse gases and to reduce the problems associated with climate change and global warming. Uh, the problem with carbon offsets as a model is it's a com commodity-based model. So in other words, it has a price point and it's abstracted from different contexts. And so on this board, you can't really see it too well, but Jeripachi uh, Wind Farm is listed. And Jeripachi Wind Farm is something created by the uh, the World Bank, which is actually touted as a very good carbon offset because it's supposed to have uh, social justice components. And what it is, it's a wind farm. But basically what happened is the wind farm went in, it is putting green energy on the grid, but it also displaced indigenous peoples. And uh, the indigenous people that live near Jiripachi still do not have power, and the power is actually going to uh, power the world's largest open pit coal mine. So there's a lot of issues with the carbon market. And what I originally wanted to do, my original project conception, was to create non-industrial and non-technological uh, offsets that help fund projects for indigenous communities. And I kind of met a lot of resistance there and discovered that indigenous people throughout the world are very much aligned against the idea of carbon offsets. So it puts what I want to do in, a, in an interesting conflict. Uh, so it's a tension that's still being worked out. But please visit uh, restorativeoffsets.com if you want to learn more about what I'm doing.